Hello guys, this is my third video in this Rally English series and today we are going to see how we can actually connect the uh, SVI328 to the PC so that we can um, run the virtual disk drive and do all other fun stuff that I've been showing in last few videos. So. Um, let's start from the expensive part. So, at first you will need to buy this kind of joystick extension cable. You can get these cables from eBay. They cost about five dollars uh, or five euros, something like that. And they are actually pretty decent quality. So, if you actually need a joystick extension, this is not a bad buy if you want to use it for that maybe later but today we are going to use it to connect the virtual disk drive so apart from that you will also need uh, this kind of usb to rs232 ttl adapter so um, there are multiple of these and the price is something from one euro to two or three euros it depends a bit but you can find many of them from eBay uh, this uh, this particular one is plugging di directly and I'm not actually recommending this I will show you a bit later another model that I recommend uh, but uh, yeah, it is very important that it is working in TTL levels, so that means that it uses 5 volts, because the RS232 normally uses plus 12 volts and minus 12 volts, and that is too much for us, so make sure that it is a TTL version. And then, then we are also going to need some DuPont female to female connector cable cables uh, pretty much nothing to say about these and yeah let's let's put it together so actually it is enough that we just tra take three of these uh, cables for this project so let's look at, look at this connector again uh, I hope I can get it to the light. So as you can see there are nine pins. So five on top and four on bottom and the numbering goes like from left to right from uh, so that it is one, two, three, four, five on the upper row and then pins six, seven, eight and nine on the lower row. So what we are going to do, we are going to take these connectors and we are connect them so that um, let's first first we are going to put one of them to the pin one uh, let's see uh, these pins are a bit bigger than standard uh, those uh, standard DuPont connectors so, so you you need to press a bit harder to get them in but good thing is that they are not coming off so easily. Okay, so now we have one connected, one cable, the orange one, to the pin 1. And then the second cable is going to go to pin 6, that is below it. And the third cable is going to pin 8. Like this. So. And then the other end, you have to locate, they are in different orders, in different modules, but, but there should be RX, TX and G and D pins here. Let's see if we can actually read, read the texts. Yeah, I, I hope you can read it from there. Yeah, so those, those are the three bottom ones, so so there is TXD, RXD and G and D. Sometimes there is no the D in the end, so it is TX, RX and G and D. But anyway, 
now the wire that we connected to the pin 1 that is currently the orange we are going to connect it to the TX pin here so uh, orange here and then the red one that we connected to the pin 6 we are going to connect to the RX and then the remaining brown one that is connected to pin 8 on the SVI side is going to the G and D. And we are done. So let's try to use this. So this end will go to to the laptop. So you can just plug it in and it will light up. You may need to, depending on the model and your Windows version and so on, it might require you to install some drivers, but we are not going to go any deeper into that. And the other end, we are going to need the SVI and we are going to plug it to the joystick port 2, that is the one that is closest to the power button and and power input so we plug it in there and now we have the hardware setup done let me put it on the table and we will we will test it so let's power the msx on yeah there we go so let's let's take a look quickly to the pc so First we have to start the server. I have it sorry, I have it here. And there we go. And then let's try this disk that we created on the first video that has the menu and let's drop it to the drive there. Okay, so that side is now ready. So what we need to do here is load from cassette the loader program because we don't yet have the disk drive and let's see what happens yep it seems very good oh yeah sorry I pressed the disk so we came to the prompt but we can just run it and Yep, here we go. And let's try, for example, the gun fright over there. There it loads. Yep, takes a little while, and then we have a game. Yep. And that is all that I have to say about this for now. I will write something to you a bit later. Bye!